Hey everybody, I'm Craig Harper with the University of Tennessee. Up here with my good buddy Kip, we are uh, doing some measurements. We're looking in a bedding block. We're measuring the vegetation in a bedding block as well as the adjacent control. And we're finding out what the vegetation response is after our treatment. Of course, we've left desirable trees, especially the northern red oaks, the white oaks, some other oak species, and some other soft mass producing species. We've allowed a lot of sunlight to come into the stand. It's really thickened up a lot of desirable species, even herbaceous species such as goldenrod and bushy aster. There's a tremendous amount of deer food in here, but most importantly is the lack of visibility in this bedding block on average what we're measuring is about eight to ten meters in visibility whereas in the control it often exceeds a hundred meters and so yes deer attracted to this like i've said like bass to a brush pile and it, it happens immediately and to give a little history of what we're looking at now you can see all this food and cover prior to this experiment and the work that you did in here this was a closed canopy northern hardwood forest with an open understory. There would have been nothing but dead leaves right where we're standing right now, three years ago when this whole thing started. So uh, tell them what you did and how you made it look like this and uh, why we're seeing such good response from the deer, deer we, use. We primarily killed sugar maple, birch, beech, a few others, uh, some suppressed individuals of oaks and primarily did that through girdle and spray. We hinged a few, we cut a few down, especially for example with, with black birch where the deer are really eating the, the, the re-sprouts and uh, allowed somewhere in the neighborhood of 60, uh, maybe 70% sunlight to come in here, but uh, a really, really good mm -hmm. response. Well, certainly from a hunting season perspective, we have seen tremendous increase in deer use of this area and hunting opportunities as we're hunting the fringes of this with deer leaving here. So uh, from a hunting standpoint, I can attest this has been great, but uh, you have all kinds of actual statistics where you have measured responses that, uh, that would be great to share with folks. Well, we put cameras in these units, in the treatment units and in the control units. We run them year round and the graduate students such as Thomas Rovery do a tremendous job in, in counting all these pictures. But during the fawning season, there was more than a 400% increase of does and fawns in the treatment units, a 40, 45% reduction in predators in the treatment units during the fawning season, but also right at an 80% mm -hmm. increase mm -hmm. of deer in these treatment units during the hunting season. And so incorporating good bedding areas on your property really helps you gain an advantage in knowing where the deer are hanging out and getting a better feel for where they're traveling to and from.